All right, guys, if you're watching from my last video where I designed this fluke, we're gonna print this mold, pour it, and go fish with it, see how it works. Doing two, because if it sucks, I might as well suck twice, right? Here's my latest settings for Sculpt. Take a screenshot, bro, it'll last longer. All right, guys, looks like two of these molds are gonna cost me $2.05, and it's gonna take about 12 hours to print. So we're gonna print it overnight, and we'll get back to you in the morning. That's a creepy smile, bro. <laughs> we're gonna go to bed, we're gonna wake up, we're gonna have a mold, yay! Bro. All right, now it is time to pour the flukes. Today, we're going to mix it up a little bit. I've decided that I'm gonna go with like a crawfish color attempt. It's not even really, it's just red. Um, I'm gonna start with the base of Dead On Plastics red. I got this, uh, I just threw that away. I got this uh, red mica off Amazon. Links in the description as always. I actually got two, they were supposedly separate colors, but from the same company, but they look like almost identical. So who knows? So red, dead on red, kind of base color, red mica, and then we're going to hit it with some Hobby Lobby gunmetal flake just to break it up a little bit. Going with red today, sounds like a good time. We'll see how it turns out. Let's go. Get the vents on, bro. Safety first, bro. All right, so the first set of molds I made, I poured, and I noticed kind of right away that tail section was too shallow and too narrow, at least for my limited open port skill set. And when I pulled the baits out, you know, it felt really, really too flimsy. So I jumped back into Fusion and really just adjusted the tail width uh, and the depth. So I made it a little bit wider and a little bit deeper to give it a little more um, kind of bulk there and obviously make the top more open and easier to pour. You know, how you wanna do this is totally up to you. This is an open pour mold. If it was a injection mold, we probably wouldn't have this problem because we'd have some bulk on the top of that tail section as well. Uh, but being an open pour mold, you really need to pay attention to how much 
uh, width you have in that section to make sure you can accurately pour your plastisol in there. All right, we're back at the pouring table. Next day after I printed up a new version after that first pouring disaster, let's see what we get this time. All right, we're just gonna remelt this stuff that we used yesterday. So what I did between version one and version two is I made the tail section a lot wider because it was impossible to pour and um, quite a bit deeper as well. I think that'll help uh, in the pour. I thinned down the midsection just a bit. I wasn't terribly upset about how fat it was, but I don't think it needed to be really that fat. And then I added on a nose in front um, just to make rigging it a little bit easier. So, you know, basically like every other fluke out there. If you look at this bait I poured yesterday, you know, this tail section is way too thin. You know, you'll get a ton of great action there, but the first little tail bite you get, it's gonna be totally gone, so. And um, it's, it's a bit fat. It's not too fat, but it doesn't need to be that fat. Yeah, 368 kind of blew, uh, blew that deal. I'll uh, keep stirring, let it cool down a bit. All right, this is still probably a bit too hot to pour, but I'm gonna go ahead and rock it out. I think it's kind of bad when you have to redesign a bait because you don't have the skills to pour it. But oh well, we'll let these cool and we'll get right back to you. All right, here we go with the mold of version two. So I didn't get quite enough in there. Or maybe poured it a little too hot, probably. A little too hot is probably the right answer there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. A little fish for sure. Cool little arrow tail on there. Still pretty warm. Body cavity. Are looking good, not too hard to demold. Let's get the other one here. Should be basically the same. Maybe I'll try it from the front first this time. Kind of pushing back, trying to grab that nose. So that's a pretty big undercut there. But um, since the plastic saw is, you know, flexible, it's not too bad. Whoop. This is dead on plastics, uh, craw tube blend. So it's a, it's a relatively tough plastic. Not bad. I kind of like the way that tail looks, man. I don't know how it's going to act, but we will let these cool off a bit and uh, maybe I'll go throw them today. All right, so here's a little comparison between the two that we did. This one's V1, tail is not as well formed, and the tail section is just a disaster. V2, obviously it's a little bit stiffer, but I think, still think it's plenty flexible. And the tail is just a little deeper, a little wider, and I hope that provides a lot more action. Then on the front, I basically just took a 10 millimeter circle and extruded it out to give us a little bit nicer of a spot to rig compared to uh, version one. All right, guys, see if this fluke works. I am at the uh, little local pond. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. This pond is very small, as you can see, but it does hold a few bass. So hoping I can convince them to eat the fluke. That's really all I got with me. Flukes and bigger flukes. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands out from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. <laughs> Bro. Well, I love that girl with the bright hair. Hey. Catch us turtles, I guess, huh? I've made the world's ultimate turtle lure. Dude, he took a big bite out of it. Jerking. <laughs> little bass missed it, bro. Have you seen it, bro? All right, fish do suck at biting my lures. I don't suck at fishing. The fish suck. Absolutely, 100%. 
I'm not really good at fluke fishing either. It's uh, really slow, uh, at least this bait was as I was fishing it. And I, I have a tendency to lose my patience when I'm fishing super slow. But the fluke works as designed. It's pretty killer. I released a bunch of different fluke lures to my Patreon group. That link is below. Every month in there, I release new uh, molds and new hard baits as they come out and as they work. Take care, tight lines. Have you ever seen this